So first we need to get rid of this trailing uh, semicolon so we can just remove it from display list and now the screen looks much better. So now what we want to do in this episode is look into a way if we can edit the item because right now we can mark the item as done or not done. We can also delete an item. So all that is working but we are not able to edit an item. So how do we go about editing an item? So the way we will implement editing is by double click, we should see an input field. And in that input field, we should be able to type in our change. So right now, if you look at the display item, we have ally, whether which says that item is done or not, and then all the content is inside ally. So the way we can handle this is by having two div. One is a viewer style and one is an editor style. So let's put everything inside uh, first div, which is a viewer style. So viewer style div will come all the way from here till here. So that's the viewer style. And then the second one will be just the input. So this materially should not change anything. Oh, I did not have, I don't have the closing div tag. So I close the div tag and now if I do refresh, okay, so I have the a div is working so the next thing I need is put an input field here so I will put input type is equal to text and value is to do dot title so that's the input field so I can see the input field here so now what do what we need to do is in certain conditions display this and in certain conditions display the input field so what is that condition? So that is based on the uh, state. And we need a new state for the each item, which would dictate whether we are editing that to do or not. If editing is true, then show this input field. If editing is false, then show that uh, uh, the normal read-only value. So in order to do that, let's uh, start here and we'll put a constructor. constructor uh, super and then we'll do this dot state editing is false so by default the editing is false in uh, for all the items and then what we'll do is depending on whether the what is the viewer style will do either show editing or reading mode so let's uh, look at it how it will be implemented so here we will do style which style to apply we'll do edit a style for input field and for the div the style would be viewer style but right now we don't have these viewer style and edit a style so we are getting an error uh, but let's try to fix that so here what we can do is we can do var viewer style is an empty object and similarly where editor style is an empty object too so this should take care of the error so now error is fixed and now based on if this dot state dot editing if you are editing then we need to do something and if you're not editing then we need to do something else so if you are editing then we need to do view style dot display if you are editing, then we need to hide the, the view style. So we'll do none. And if we are not editing, then edited style display needs to be none. Now what's the error? Cannot read property editing of null. Okay, so maybe we need to do a full refresh. So if you double click, then we should see input styles. So in order to do that, let's uh, on the div, we can say that on double click. So let's do that on, on double click, this dot handle editing dot bind this. So we don't have handle editing but let's do that. Let's add that function. Handle editing. A 
and in the handle editing we will just say that this dot set state editing state is true by default it's false but let's do true okay so now if i double click i can see that input field but i when i type nothing happens when i hit enter nothing happens when i hit escape nothing happens because we have not uh, built controls for that so let's try to build the control for that and here we can come to the uh, input field and here we can do on key down this dot handle editing done dot bind this okay so on key down we are doing handle editing done bind and handle editing done so let's try to handle handle editing done that's another event editing is done let's just put this message in the console log and now if I try to just hit enter I can see that handle editing is done so I'm able to intercept I'm able to intercept the submit and we are able to see that uh, handle editing is done so proper way of handling it would be we can look into the event key code so we can say if event dot key code is equal to 13 which is the code for submit then we can do this dot set state editing is false now if I hit submit editing is false and then but if I type nothing happens but I hit enter then then I am getting out of edit mode I'm getting into the uh, view mode 